and welcome back my beautiful froggy army to day eight of designing an island in 30 days with no nintendo online we have isabel yet again it is august 16th today's announcements we have dizzy on our island let's go ahead and jump straight into our daily routine i'm gonna check my mail look for my bottle on the beach plant my money tree shake my trees and order my five items Ooh, winnie's crafting and i have been on the hunt for that garden wagon diy i already know how to make that so thanks a lot winnie thanks for nothing oh my goodness we have flick here today as well you know what that means you already know what that means today we're gonna be going on a bug catching spree that's actually really nice because i wasn't too sure what i was gonna be doing today but that is a great opportunity to just get a whole bunch of bells so unfortunately our bridge is not paid off yet. I only put in 50,000 bells yesterday because I didn't have enough. So let's see how much money my villagers put in overnight. My villagers put in 339 bells. Wow. Thanks. Thanks a lot, everyone. Thanks a lot. Technically, I do have enough to pay it off right now. And you know what? I think I'm going to do it. I'm going to get rid of all my bells and we're going to pay off this bridge just because it's a little inconvenient to like have to go around this river. So now that that's all paid off, we can fully focus on the goal for today, which is to just make so, so many bells that I don't even know what to do with them. So my inventory is pretty full she's full so we're gonna go ahead and deposit some stuff in my storage if i even freaking have any room nope not really not really well i have been saving some bugs for flick whenever flick comes by so i'll go ahead and take these out that'll free up some space i think after we're done catching bugs today i'm going to make like a little in-game mood board for the theme that i have been thinking of doing because i think we can do it i was really apprehensive before if we could even accomplish this theme if a theme would even be possible at all you know unless we're doing like a norm core or something that's a little bit easier with a uh, no Nintendo online type of challenge, but I think we can do a theme. So after we finish with the bug catching, yeah, I'm gonna make like a little in-game mood board. I'm gonna put some items on the floor and then I think I'll just reveal the theme to you guys because I feel like we finally deserve to know what it is. Well, you guys finally deserve to know what it is. It's a pretty exciting one. Let me just say, I, uh, I've i been wanting to do it for a while, so I'm very excited to talk about our theme later in the episode. For now, hello, Flick. Nice overhead angle. <laughs> All right, first let's get a commission before I accidentally sell these butterflies. I'm gonna get a paper kite butterfly model. Here you go. And now I'm gonna continue on and we're just gonna try to find some bugs. I hope you guys have been doing well. I hope you've been liking the series. It's been a lot of fun for me to do. I have just been craving just like pouring my heart and soul into a big project. Like, oh, I, I wanna work in something big and exciting. So this has really been meeting that craving. You know, that was my daily craving and I got it. <laughs> this was very, very much inspired by Ryan Trahan's 30-day uh, penny challenge series. I survived on a penny for 30 days. Oh, hello, Rory. Oh, thank you so much for the lantern. Oh, wow, that's so nice of you. I was very obsessed with that series. He did an amazing, stellar job on it, and I was just absolutely obsessed. So I really got inspired by it, and I wanted to do, like, the Animal Crossing version of the penny series. So this is what I'm attempting to do. So huge shout out to Ryan, even though he has so many more subscribers than me he'll never see this but he was definitely a big inspiration for this animal crossing 30 day series oh wow i am terrible at catching this grasshopper hello i shouldn't even have a youtube channel that was that was horrific oh and we had some nook miles tasks to catch bugs i didn't even know that very convenient so anyway the second i finished watching his series i was like wow this really makes me want to do like a huge project like this so I've, I've been having a lot of fun it's a lot of work don't get me wrong and don't worry i will be taking a nice break and i'm trying to pace myself and and take breaks and stuff and just have like a good schedule but yeah i will be taking a break after this and in case you didn't know and in case you're curious i do have kind of a buffer on these videos just like ryan did there's no possible way for me to record a video and edit it like record day one on august 1st and edit it and then post it on day one like you need to record it before just for like a buffer um so that way i have enough time to edit and upload and stuff like that so i started recording last week of july so i'm on a little bit of a buffer but i'm still doing 30 days in a row except for probably my birthday because my birthday is in august and since i have kind of that buffer i'm okay if i don't record for maybe a day or two so i I will probably 
take a little pause, take a little break uh, near the middle of August near my birthday. But don't worry, that won't affect the uploads. They'll still be every single day. I just gave myself that buffer. That way I could take a break if I wanted to or needed to. So anyway, that was a lot of rambling, but we haven't really talked about the series like directly that much. So I just thought we could chat about it a little bit. It would be kind of fun, but I can't believe it's already been a freaking week, like over a week. This is day eight. What the heck? Like, what have I even done for this whole week? I feel like I've made so much progress, but at the same time, barely any, you know what I mean? Stand mixer. Nice. Okay. So anyway, I hope we can finish in time. I've just been like slightly freaking out over it. I'm like, oh my goodness, I need to do so much terraforming. I need to get so many items. Like there's so much we have to do in such a short amount of time. So hopefully we will be getting everything done pretty quick. But if not, you know, we tried our best and that's what's important. The real challenge is going to be getting Rooney off my island in 30 days. I feel like all I'm getting is cicadas and grasshoppers. Like, where are the butterflies? Oh, here's one. Here's one. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, Quilson's trying to catch a bug. That's not your bug anymore. No, don't talk to him. No, 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 no. This is this is my bug now, Quilson. Ha ha ha. Okay, my inventory is full of bugs. So we're going to go and drop these off to Flick and see how much we get. I don't think any of these really sell for that much except for some of the butterflies. So let's see how much we get. 34,000 bells. Wait a sec. <laughs> this is even... I feel like this is better than the diving we did. Was that- how much did we get for the diving? I forget. And that wasn't even a full, full inventory. I have a row of tools. I think- I think this is better than diving. Oh, and my net just broke again. Okay, we don't have that much this time and very few of like the valuable butterflies, but let's see what we get. Okay, not as good, not as good. It's only 7,000, almost 8,000. Oh, I haven't checked Nooks today. They have this cute little tea kettle. I'm gonna take that. Okay, I am loaded up on nets. Let's get back to it. Don't go in the water. No! No. <laughs> oh, I have this random butterfly here. I don't know why it's here, but you know what? I'm going to take that. You're being sold to Flick. My issue is I don't really have a lot of like big flower patches. So I feel like that's why we're not really getting that many like good bugs spawning. Oh, I guess I should also be shaking my trees and see if we can get some wasps. That'd be really nice too. Wasps sell for a lot and they are a guaranteed catch. I have mastered the art of catching wasps. I don't think I could even be stung at this point, honestly. Like if I get stung, just just know that I've been replaced with a different raven and it's not really me because I have mastered the art. I have mastered it. Look at this. Look at this. Boom. No stinging over here. No stinging around these parts. And look at this. Look at this. Take two. Wasps, zero. Raven, two. Okay, round three of bugs. I have some more stuff for you, Flick. 20,000 bells. Not bad. I'll take it. Okay, I'm kind of bored of catching bugs, so I'm going to take a quick break from that, and we'll probably go catch some more maybe later in the evening if I hop on later, but I want to work on my little mood board for lack, and then I will reveal to you our theme for this island. Oh, and we got our first gyroid. Oh my goodness, it's an oinkoid. What does that one look like? I mean, I'm assuming it looks like a little piggy. Oh, cute! So I had a lot of thoughts when making this island, of course. I know that I just wanted to do this little challenge and I wanted to do it in 30 days and I wanted to do it with no Nintendo Online to prove that you can still have a beautiful island even without Nintendo Online. And that was pretty much my main focus, right? But of course, what's a Froggy Crossing Island without a theme? I love themes. I absolutely do. And I know a lot of people don't have themes or they have a mashup of themes or they just don't really care what they put on their island and that's totally fine. I love that too. But for me personally, it makes it a lot easier for me to actually finish an island if I have a theme because it kind of gives me like little guidelines I guess you could say for stuff like you know the colors that I'm going to use the type of items the vibe the feel it just helps me have kind of like rules so to say to uh, finish the island and it's totally not you know necessary for every single island out there but it just helps me personally a lot otherwise I feel like I really have no direction so having some direction is very helpful for me personally. So of course I knew that was gonna probably come up in uh, this island playthrough. I mean, of course, right? Who doesn't want a cute little theme to go with this crazy challenge of an island that we're gonna do? So I've been trying to think, 
what could possibly be a good theme for this challenge? Like, we have a lot of hurdles here, you know? Items are pretty scarce, time is pretty scarce, so we can't do anything detailed and stuff like that. What the heck are we gonna do? So I'm thinking, okay, what, what do we use to decorate? What's gonna be very abundant on this island? Nature, nature, you know, trees, flowers, bushes, weeds. So I was thinking a really natural island is kind of gonna be what's, you know, most most feasible for us. A natural island utilizing a lot of what the island naturally gives us is probably going to be our best bet. And what themes have a lot of nature involved? What themes are very focused on nature? That's what I was kind of thinking of. I was like, hmm, let's see. Let me think of all like the natural themes. There's cottage core, forest core, all kinds of different little natural themes but ultimately i decided not to go with any of those instead i decided to go with spring core spring core it's it's spring core the island theme is spring core now i don't know if this is the best representation of spring core i have extremely limited items right now this is the best that i could come up with honestly <laughs> i don't know if this really is a good representation of spring core but this is kind of like the vibe that i want to go with i want to do a lot of white yellow pink and green i want to have a lot of nature i want it to be a lot of like this beautiful light tone of wood we're gonna have a we're gonna have a lot of flower fields besties oh my goodness i just ran over these flowers so yeah that's what we're going for spring core is the name of the game i feel like this custom design that i've been working on more so represents it like this really helps it look like spring core i feel like it's not done yet but i feel like that's pretty spring core you know and some of you did guess it some of you guessed and yeah we're doing spring core so when we're looking at villagers some of my villagers that i will probably end up keeping don't necessarily fit in the theme but it's okay i'm not i'm really not gonna worry too much about that the goal is just to have villagers that i like that's really it technically i feel like quilson could fit i like his shade of green but i just don't like quilson frobert you know spring frogs sure they match bow you know spring woods a beautiful little deer in the woods that's maybe spring core dizzy maybe yeah winnie maybe um marina does not match but we'll probably end up keeping her so the villagers you know i'm gonna try to do my best to get ones that match spring core but it's not the end of the world if we don't get any so that'll totally be fine but yeah i hope you guys like this theme a lot of you had really good ideas for what theme this island should be and actually one that i saw that i was almost upset that i didn't even think about was redoing fairy core because my very first island was fairy core and i have been saying that i wish i could redo fairy core again with all the 2.0 items and that would have been an amazing idea. Unfortunately, I did not have enough brain cells to think of that idea. Plus, I think I couldn't really do it justice with this short amount of time. I feel like um, I would I would prefer to have Fairy Core Round 2 be kind of like a longer playthrough. Yeah, we would need like a lot of, what's it called? It's like a the celeste items and stuff like that and those take a while to get and a lot of you thought that this island was going to be my florida core island because that's probably the theme i'm going to end up doing next but again i want to do it justice and these 30 days are not going to be enough to do really any theme justice <laughs> maybe spring core i feel like we can just barely squeak by with spring core just because there's so many flowers involved and i'm going to do so many so many flower fields but i hope you guys like it i am going to have have so much fun doing it. I have always wanted to do spring core actually so it's a theme that I'm really excited about and uh, yeah I hope I can do it justice. Obviously it's not gonna be my most optimal island ever. There's a lot of stuff that I probably won't get around to doing or won't be able to do but I'm very excited for it nonetheless. So anyways, anyways, this is what we're going to be working towards. This kind of vibe, this kind of feel. I thought I would put together a little mood board just to showcase like what I'm thinking of. I feel like I could keep talking about it for like 20 more minutes. So I'm going to cut it right here with my uh, spring core talk. <laughs> so I have been trying to think like what kind of spring core builds can we do? How am I going to decorate these villagers yards? Like what exactly is the game plan here? I still don't know. It, it really depends on the items we're getting and I'm not getting a lot of items. So it's uh, it's kind of a struggle. I've been debating what to put inside of this heart. I was thinking a heart shaped pond 
Or I could do just like a heart-shaped flower field. Oh, there's some good butterflies down there. <gasps> Hold on. I feel like a flower field would be really pretty, like a bunch of pink flowers. I am going to have some pink in the color palette, like with flowers and stuff that we're going to do and items, but I want to keep it mainly focused on white and yellow. We just pops a pink here and there so that could be like our big pop of pink and unfortunately we're gonna have to get those pink flowers ourselves we should probably work on breeding flowers because i'm gonna need a lot of pink flowers uh, let me okay let me actually set that up now because we're gonna need time for that oh my goodness maybe i really should increase my storage because i <laughs> i have stuff all over my island and i just don't know where anything is and i keep like dropping stuff on the floor and then i just can't find it anywhere so i have a watering can but to move flowers i need to get all of this junk out of my inventory so let's go sell these bugs that i've just been catching Fifteen thousand bells, pretty good that was only like eight bugs so thank you flick okay i just emptied out the rest of my inventory and made a total mess but it's okay i have some cosmos the only red flowers i think i have are oh i have red cosmos and i have red lilies so let's get started moving some of those we'll do we'll start off with cosmos and lilies i feel like we definitely have to use tulips so tulips just are so springy to me they just scream spring so we definitely have to get our hands on some of those i guess let's put them inside the heart because that's where <laughs> that's where i want those uh pink flowers to go so i guess we can just have them here somewhere what i remember doing was doing kind of like a diagonal sort of pattern i think it's kind of making just like this little checker pattern i believe so i don't know i'm just gonna do this and hope for the best that's pretty good i wish i could fit some more white cosmos in here but i decided to put it all the way up here for some reason i'm just gonna give these a little water now i gotta go collect some white lilies so we can do the same thing i literally just noticed we already made a purple rose on accident look at that <laughs> I mean, if I can do this on accident, then hopefully I'll be okay trying to do it on purpose. You know what I mean? Same thing with the lilies, except I'm going to move it down just a notch. We're not going to do the same layout as the cosmos because I feel like that wasn't as nice as I wanted it to be. Let's give these a good refreshing water. Mmm. And hopefully we'll be getting some pink flowers soon. This is really exciting. I haven't actually bred flowers like on purpose like this in a long long time i usually just steal my flowers from like my other islands or something and then just clone them or get them from other people or i just make the hybrids on accident so it's kind of nice to like do flower breeding again <laughs> so i think i'm gonna go ahead and go to tomorrow we'll have our bridge built we'll maybe have some flowers and i just want to like try and get some more items from nooks so i will see you there the next day isabel let us know that red was here so i was planning to go visit him but first let's get into our daily routine i'm gonna check the mail shake trees bury my money tree, check for my bottle on the beach, order my five items, and water my flowers. I got my butterfly model that I ordered from Flick yesterday. I found a lost item, which I was very excited about. Our cute little stubby bridge was done, complete. It looks so cute. And we got some of our very first pink lilies. Very, very exciting. I'm glad that we got some so quickly. I got a recipe from Marina, bought some other flowers from Nooks, and then I started stacking up all the valuable bugs that I have been catching just to save them up for whenever Flick stops by again. I started to clean up the island a little bit because I had stuff everywhere like I mentioned earlier. Um, yeah, it was just getting pretty messy. There's just items everywhere, materials everywhere. Like all of this was so unnecessary and I'm like bumping into things and like can't walk anywhere. And then I went and sold some of it to Nooks for some bells. Continued cleaning up because my inventory filled up the first time. And then I was so sick and tired of this that I decided to take out another home loan. But I quickly forgot about that because I decided decided to keep working on my little custom design path. I was making the middle piece. I just wanted to make some more pieces. Like I mentioned before, it's not hard to do these. At least I didn't think it was that hard. It's just really tedious. So I would keep putting it off because it's just like mindless, like brain dead work. But I did want to get it done because we needed this finished eventually. It came out pretty cute though. It was very much worth it. And I just kind of wanted to show you kind of like my process for doing this because I don't think I've shown you my process. What I do first is I, I use that website that I mentioned back in my last video and I cut out like the uh, transparent parts and then I go in with the darker color just on the border and I add some like little squigglies to make it look like more grassy kind of and then once I'm done with the dark color I go in with the lightest color and honestly just 
you know, just like to put like throw my Joy Cons on the floor basically. I just do little squiggles everywhere. I just try to make it look as nice as possible. I don't know. I just kind of wing it honestly. And then I start going in with little details on the edges. Like if I'm going to do little leaves, like on the little side of the path or something, if I'm going to do leaves in the actual path. And then I start going in with the flowers. I like to do the little tiny ones. I think they're really cute, but I'll try to sprinkle in some bigger sizes or like a medium size in there. But I think the best tip that I have for custom designs is really try to get good at shading. Even some basic simple shading will really elevate a custom design, especially adding shadows underneath of objects. It makes them like really pop. So I finished that up and we were well on our way to being done with this path. I decided to make the right piece as well because I was like, you know what? I might as well. Like I went ahead and just made three pieces, just trying to be as productive as possible. Then after that, I decided to craft a few items, just trying to bulk up the items in my storage. I just needed some more. And I finally went and visited Red. I kind of forgot that he was there. He didn't really have that much that I was interested in. I bought a little flamingo, but that was it. And then I actually tried to farm Red, but I did it one time and he didn't have anything that I wanted and I got discouraged. So then I stopped. I'm going to be farming Red in the future, just trying to get more items, but that is going to be it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed the theme reveal. I hope you like it. A lot of you actually guessed it. So it's, it, I wasn't very subtle about hiding it, but I'm, I hope you're still excited about it. I'm still really excited about it. So thank you so, so much for watching and for hanging out with me and for chilling and for supporting me through this series. It's been a whole lot of fun and I'm so happy that you guys are enjoying it. It's been, uh, it's been some nice and rewarding work for me. So thank you guys so much. I'm going to get going, but thank you so much again for watching and I will see you tomorrow.